Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to another Atlantic Hurricane Season Countdown video and we're currently 71 days away from the official start of the hurricane season. So June is right around the corner guys, not too far from us. But before I go into details, please take a second or so to tap that subscribe button if you haven't and if not so tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video and you can also follow me on Instagram my main is Danny Henry official and my nature account is Danny into nature alright so most of the Atlantic is looking fairly clear at this time just a few low pressure systems that are here and there ones up here we have this frontal system extending across parts of the north atlantic and so the caribbean is also fairly clear with the gale warning effects so those strong winds going to cause some rough seas and well yeah it makes the day pretty cool especially here in jamaica it's very cool and nice despite the clear sunny day okay so sea surface temperature we're seeing that as usual, the Caribbean is really the warmest part of the North Atlantic right now and right off the coast of Africa down here is pretty warm as well. But majority of the North Atlantic, pretty cool. And so as time goes by, we will see a change in that as I keep on repeating in my videos. And so guys, we're not seeing a lot taking place right now. And the Saharan earlier is mainly stretching across parts of the Northeastern Atlantic. There we go, so parts, part of the Caribbean here, well, all the Caribbean and parts of the United States experiencing very, very sunny skies right now, very, very hot, and so this is expected to prolong for a while before we head into April because, of course, we're seeing the typical dry March that was expected, you know, March is usually the dry month for us, and as we go into late April, May, we start to have more convective activity taking place. All right, guys, and so just a reminder for the names for this Atlantic hurricane season, and I'd like to hear what you guys think. I'm thinking that Kyle will be the strongest hurricane of the season, but it's kind of between Kyle and Gonzalo. So guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Like, which name do you think will represent the strongest hurricane for the season? We'd love to have a nice discussion in the comments below, so yeah, if you feel to, you can just put your opinion so guys if you found this video pretty informative please leave a thumbs up and, up, and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments below or ask a question I'll try to respond as soon as I can and remember to stay safe in this coronavirus pandemic practice proper hygiene social distance all of that I know you probably heard it a million times but I'm just saying it again so guys have a wonderful day and I will keep giving your updates on the topic